Oh my god! What's going on guys? It's Dr. Hobbs. Actually today is Chef Hobbs again. So as you can see the previous video we did, me and David, the cupcake, creative cupcake thingy, it was really amazing. Now we're in my kitchen. My mom said yes to filming my kitchen. She saw the light. She liked it. She said yeah, I can film here and now she's gone. She doesn't want to see the mess. But today we're doing something very, very creative again. We're gonna do cheeseburgers, onion rings. Yeah, you might be saying what? But yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do that. You can do it in any events, on Christmas, any time around the year, you can do these cheeseburgers. Before we get into this video, guys, as you know already, we're doing a huge giveaway. Click on the link on top of my bio, click that, go follow all the boys, you're gonna win a ton of stuff for this Christmas. The biggest giveaway on YouTube, just take the link on top of my bio, and let's get going. All right guys, so let me show you what we have today. Those are the stuff you will need. You need one big onion, I got two, because I don't know which one is bigger. You need breadcrumbs. You need two eggs, ground beef, you need cheddar, you need flour, salt and pepper, a knife. You need three bowls, they're right here. You need three bowls and one big bowl for the ground beef. Not to forget the oil right here to fry them after everything. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do these amazing cheeseburger onion rings. First of all, you need the ground beef. So, okay, ground beef right here, a little bit of salt. Pepper. All right, and now you mash it all together. You mash everything, the salt, the pepper, and the ground beef. Hey, no, hey, hey, no, no, go play. All right, once you finish with the ground beef, you put it aside. That's gonna be the workstation right here. Now you pick the biggest onion in the store. I don't know which one is bigger. But which one do you think is bigger? The one on the right. This one? Yes. All right, I'm gonna use this. So, you cut it very carefully from the first side right here. And then from the other side. Now you have to peel the onion. I never cut onions before. I don't know how this goes, but you have to peel the onion. I don't know if that's the right way to, oh, I got it, I got it, I think I got it, I'm peeling the onion. Someone's calling me. Oh, that's David. Bro, look at this. Look at this struggle. Yo. <laughs> the struggle is real. So behind the camera is my brother, it's the first time he ever films a video, and um, if the quality or image is not really good, <laughs> that's the reason. Now, after you peel your onion, you have to cut it in big parts. Let's do this. Careful not cut your finger. That's one. I'm trying not to cut my finger. That's two, that's amazing. Look at those rings. Those are gonna be our onion rings. So, the rest put aside. I don't know why, I'm not tearing up. But usually when you cut onions, you tear up and you cry, but I'm not, I don't know. I have some special skills, you know? Now, you have to empty the onion like this. You do this, you see? Cause those are our onion rings without breaking them and it's kind of hard. Okay. All right, oh, oh, yeah, oh. This looks amazing, that's the first onion ring. Now we're gonna get another smaller onion ring. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so if you break your onion ring, thank God, that's why I've got two onions, I knew I'm gonna break some of them. You cut another one. See, you don't want, ah, I'm sorry, tear up. See, you don't want your onion ring to be that shape. You need it to be straight, circle, just like that. So we're gonna try to do it with these ones. Uh, no, I'm actually tearing up. It's bad. All right. Oh, there you go. Those are on onion rings. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. Okay, guys. I'm gonna try to take. The, there's two in there. I'm gonna try to take one of those out. Hopefully, I'm, it's a success. Yes, baby. Let's go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six onion rings. Now it's time to do the cheeseburger secret recipe to have our cheeseburger onion rings magic. Now, you need three bowls. The middle bowl is for the eggs. You crack the egg in there. That's the other egg. Oof. You mix the eggs. Like you're doing an omelette, you know? Omelette de fromage. There you go. You need your eggs to be like that. For the first one, we need flour. You put the flour very careful. Right here. So, oh. <coughs> and for this one is 
bread crumbs. There you go. First time ever using bread crumbs. So you have a station here, flour, eggs, and bread crumbs. This is very important. Before we get to this, this is this is where you use your cheddar cheese. Make sure it's cheddar because cheddar will melt perfectly the way we want it to melt. You want your cheese to be in cubes. Cut cubes of cheddar cheese. That's all you need. One, two, three, four, and five. So that's what we need for our cheeseburger. You know, cheeseburger, that's the cheese that's coming in. Now is the very crucial part for our rings. You take the meat with your clean hands that I cleaned several times before filming this video. And you put it carefully inside the onion. Just like that. You put it right here inside the onion. You can see how it is. Now, put your cheddar cube inside the onion ring with the beef. And then you add a little beef on top of everything. Just like that. That's the first one. For the second one, they get bigger and bigger. The beef on top of it. You have to make sure it's covering the whole onion ring. When you finish to put all the ground beef inside the onion ring with the cheddar, you make sure it's perfectly aligned with the onion ring. And now you go to this station right here. Make sure your oil is boiling. Now, back to here. You take your onion ring, dip it in the flour, then the eggs, then the breadcrumbs. One small, quick, back to the eggs, to the breadcrumbs. Put it right here. Your fingers are gonna be very sticky during this procedure, but it's a must to dip everything in the right order. Flour, then eggs, then breadcrumbs, then back to the eggs, do the breadcrumbs. That's how you get the perfect bowl right here. Guys, when you finish doing this, and your oil is boiling, put it on this. Listen to the snizzle. Oh! Once they start turning brown, just turn them inside the oil. They need like two more minutes and they'll be done. Once they turn this color, that means they're done. Oh my God, they look amazing. That's one, that's two. Oh my God, guys, right now, I wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling. Oh, can't wait to try these. They look so beautiful. Oh my God. They actually look amazing. Holy. Oh. All right, guys, we're gonna try them, me and my brother. We're gonna see how they taste. I'm gonna put a bit of ketchup, but I'm weird. I love mayo. I love mayo with all these kind of foods. You guys tell me, what would you rather? Comment down below, ketchup or mayo? Please say mayo. If you say mayo, I would love you forever. Let me know why you eat your deep fried stuff, ketchup or mayo. There goes the mayo, and that's the ketchup. Here goes the first bite. Let's take this one, this looks good. Let's see what's inside this bad boy. Oh my God, holy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look how good it looks. Okay guys, it, it looks amazing. It looks, it actually looks amazing. Let me try a bite of it. That's the mayo. No, oh, it tastes, oh my God, oh my God. I wish you guys could try this right now. It tastes so good. Okay, I know you want to try it. Mayo too, uh, I love that. Oh, okay. ketchup, okay. All right. Nice ASMR, oh. Mm. 
Amazing. <laughs> okay, rate it from one to ten. What would you rate it? It's a ten. Ten out of ten? Oh fuck! We got a 10 out of 10. All right, guys, they actually look amazing. They taste amazing. You guys are missing out. I'm gonna eat them. I'm gonna eat all of those. Just look at the inside. Look at this. You can see every layer, the cheese, the beef. My camera's not focusing, but yeah, you can see everything. Way, way better than the cupcake lasagna we did, me and Dave. It actually is a big success, and I would actually do that again. Onion rings. Mwah. Amazing guys. Now is the time to smash the thumbs up button because we did an amazing job. So if you want to see more Chef Hobbs, smash the thumbs up button right now. Let me know in the comments what you guys want me to cook next. And for now, I'm gonna be enjoying my cheeseburger onion rings. I'll right, see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.